Microfluidic devices can manipulate the small amounts of liquid to perform fast and accurate analytical assays, having a huge impact in different application areas, including environmental pollution monitoring, biohazard detection or biomedicine. Despite this huge potential, many microfluidics applications require large-scale fluidic equipment as well as expensive analytical external devices. All this increases the operational cost of the analysis and makes it inaccessible to non-specialized laboratories. PRIME is a FET open project funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme that is developing a platform of smart materials and additive manufacturing technologies to create a new generation of active microfluidic devices. These devices will integrate all the fluidic and sensing functions, making the system portable, cheap and easy to use. The PRIME consortium is formed by a multidisciplinary group of researchers that synergistically covers all the aspects needed to accomplish this objective. The consortium includes six partners, five academic institutions and a high-tech small-medium enterprise from four different countries of the European Union. We are the research group Stimulant Response for Functional Materials and Devices from the Eindhoven University of Technology. Polymer materials usually have static functional properties, and in our group, we develop polymers with dynamic responsive functionalities and integrate them into devices to meet industrial and societal challenges in the field of sustainable energy, healthcare, and personal comfort. In a prime project, we design and synthesize smart materials that can change the shape of an exposure to light. These materials will be integrated into microfluid devices and used as light responsive valves. Additionally, we also prepare responsive optical materials that can, that can be used as sensors to detect analytes in water. Regarding the sensing materials, they consist in the use of, of a capture antibody attached to the support, in, which is binding to the analyte. The analyte then binds to, a sec to another antibody, the detection antibody, which is attached to the gold nanoparticles. In one last step, the near-infrared laser induces the heat conversion in the nanoparticles, which transduce this laser light into heat, which will be then detected by an infrared camera for the infrared read or by a heat-mediated color read placed underneath the support. The in vitro diagnosis and organ on chip technologies have shown to be a very useful technology in the diagnosis and the study of different diseases. In Prime Project, we are going to develop two case studies that will push these technologies one step forward. While 3D printing of conventional materials typically leads to inanimated objects, 4D printing of responsive materials adds uh, the time as a fourth dimension creating objects that can change their shape over time in response to an appropriate stimulus. In Prime, we are exploiting the possibilities of 4D printing to generate active elements and integrate them in the microfluidic device to control the fluid's flow uh, in the chip. Our contribution to the Prime project is more on the theory side. We are using modeling and simulations to predict how the components of the device will behave under different conditions. Here, you can see the setup of one of my simulations. The material that will be used to make a pump or a valve is represented as a collection of particles and springs. Calculating the forces on each of the particles allows us to investigate how the material deforms when a force acts on it. This then helps us to optimize the design of these components to ensure their correct functioning. Microfluidics is a technology that allows handling small volumes of liquids to, among other things, speed up the results of diagnostic techniques or better simulate diseases in the laboratory. Prime, we are developing new microfluidic components that will replace the need of expensive or complex equipment to bring these solutions closer to the society. In Brian project, BNN leads the work package dissemination and exploitation of results. BNN provides communication and dissemination activities, promoting Brian's results and success via our project website, social media, fact sheets, posters and videos. 
We ensure that the generated knowledge will be successfully transmitted to a multitude of audiences, including the media and the public, engaging in a two-way exchange. We aim to enable others to use and take up results, thus maximizing the impact of prime research by BNN support services. Thank you.